I'm at the Military Women's Memorial, located at the ceremonial gateway to Arlington National Cemetery. We are the only national memorial dedicated to telling the stories of America's service women from all eras and all military services. We do this through both our world-class collection and the register, an interactive database of military women, which houses approximately 300,000 stories of sacrifice, bravery, and service to our country. Today, we're taking a closer look at one of those stories. Here's a U.S. Army Regulation Bugle with an interesting story. It belonged to a WAC, a member of the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps, who was the first woman Army bugler. Her name was Donna Mae Baldecker Smith. Military bands have long maintained an important role in the armed forces, boosting morale and playing the soundtrack to military service. During World War II, service women in the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps formed a band at the organization's first training center at Fort Des Moines, Iowa. At the forefront of the ensemble was Donna Mae Smith. She joined the WAC in July of 1942 because, as she says, I found it my duty to be patriotic. At Fort Des Moines, Iowa, she joined the band, and since she was solo chair trumpet, she ended up becoming the first Army woman bugler. The bugle has been at the center of military life through the years. Since the Revolutionary War, bugles have been used to rally troops, pay tribute to them, and sound the early morning wake-up call for military bases. At Fort Des Moines, Smith played Reveille every morning, becoming acquainted with the young corporal who woke her up at 4.30 a.m., eventually marrying him. She was also responsible for sounding class changes and transitions throughout the day to keep the whack on schedule. Being part of the band was elite duty. She didn't have to do KP or calisthenics for fear she would ruin her hands or split her lips. As part of the band, she trained future band members and traveled around the country on recruiting duty. Tasked with scoping out new talent for WAC bands, Smith also promoted general recruitment for the more than 200 other jobs women could fulfill in the Army. In total, there were five WAC bands during the war. Service women in bands recognized the privilege of their duty performing in concerts, parades, and rallies to promote recruitment and war bond sales and welcome home returning soldiers. They also performed for visiting celebrities, dignitaries, and special guests. On one occasion, Smith met First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. Smith resigned from the Women's Army Corps in 1943 after getting married, but she maintained her love for playing the bugle and honoring American service members. In 1946, Hormel Foods established an all-woman band comprised mostly of veterans, affectionately known as the Spamettes. She served as an advisor traveling around the country playing her bugle. Even after she left the Spamettes, she continued playing, often playing taps at veterans' funerals. In 1997, Smith played with the U.S. Army Band during the dedication ceremony for the Military Women's Memorial, where her whack bugle and stories of her service live today. In 2009, Smith was inducted into the Bugler's Hall of Fame. She passed away in 2010 at the age of 90, and at her funeral, she had full military honors and the bugle was played for her. To learn more stories of women past and present who serve our nation, visit www.womensmemorial.org. Tune in for our next Her Story Spotlight.